Hi, I'm Laura, I'm one of the Baltic crew and today I'm going to talk to you about our Level 3 exhibition which is John Acomphra, The Ballasts of Memory. Um, this exhibition is comprised of three films um, and the idea of the exhibition's title, The Ballast of Memory, is this idea that he uses history and historical archive and footage to kind of balance um, the less kind of sort of like solid facts against this kind of intangible idea of memory and social memory and how sometimes kind of people or important moments kind of fall through the gaps. Um, so he uses archive and history to kind of bring to attention people who might kind of be forgotten. So this is Precarity. Uh, this is a three screen um, video installation um, and it is about the life of Charles Buddy Bolden who is widely credited with being one of the originators of jazz music. But strangely, there's only two documents recording his life. One's a newspaper article that says he hit his mother or mother-in-law on the head with a water pitcher, and then the other's his committal to a Louisiana mental asylum, where he went in at nine, in 1908 and didn't come out for another 25 years. So the reason John has used uh, this guy um, in his film is because he's all about hidden histories um, and maybe this idea between myth and reality. So we do know that there was a man, but other than that, all we have are verbal sources kind of telling us anecdotes about him that we don't know whether they're true, we don't know, actually know what happened. So the reason you have the three screens is, is this idea of he works with archives and juxtaposes different images of things together to try and create a different meaning. Um, it's a technique called montage or bricolage and basically it's trying to find the hidden black history um, that has kind of been taken away. A comfort kind of describes it as using history to remind people about stuff that's happened in the past because you kind of sometimes get what he thinks of as social amnesia. So he went to New Orleans where obviously jazz came from and he works with the archives and he tried to find different um, sources and different materials. So what he's kind of hoping is through this, he kind of creates something a bit more tangible about Bolden and maybe a bit more of an insight into his life. Another large part of it is um, he's really interested in the water as well. So with recent events like Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans, and obviously New Orleans is surrounded by water and that's where all his prosperity comes from. So there's kind of that element kind of going through about the place is very important. It's also known uh, there's no actual recording of Bolden. Um, they think he did make a wax cylinder in the early 1900s, but they've never found it. I think it's lost. Um, so the bit where you actually see him playing, it, it's really unusual in that the sound in the room goes completely quiet. So it's kind of this idea of this man who's really well known for playing something and music, but in actual fact there is no music when he plays because they have no idea what he sounded like. So this is the unfinished conversation um, and the subject of this primarily is a man called Stuart Hall. He was a Jamaican immigrant who came over to study in Oxford and is largely credited as being uh, the godfather of cultural studies and he became very much involved in a left movement, in, a leftist movement in London and Oxford where he went um, to try and create um, awareness of black rights in England. So it's almost like a tribute um, to this man and his legacy because um, I don't think, yet again, it's the same as Buddy Bolden in the front. Many people actually know who he is and what he did. So basically, again, we've got the three screens. This time it does use Stuart Hall's um, life and his interviews and his media presence through his life and it gives you the dates, but it also focuses in his background coming from Jamaica, moving to England and the challenges that that presented. Um, and this work is called The Unfinished conversation and um, Stuart Hall, um, one of his famous quotes is that um, the process of developing identity is an unfinished conversation. Um, it also relies he more heavily on archive footage than say the Bolden piece which was filmed largely in New Orleans and basically it puts it into context so you've got archive footage of um, the Hansworth riots which were um, in Birmingham and that was all about um, race and prejudice in the UK and then you got kind of moving through to images of the Vietnam War and all these kind of um, massive cultural upheavals that were happening in the 60s and 70s and kind of moving to this um, moment in the 80s where um, a comfort and six other artists um, kind of started 
the Black Audio Film Collective and you had the British Black Arts Movement as well. So basically Stuart Hall is kind of the beginning point for what Comfort is still doing now.